country profile, Andorra. Welcome to Sidra's Lifestyle. Like, share and subscribe. Today we will learn about Andorra the smallest country in Europe. Official name, Principality of Andorra. Capital, Andorra La Vella. Population, 85,708, 2018. Official languages, French, Castilian, Portuguese. Currency, Euro, EUR. Form of government, parliamentary democracy. Climate, temperate, snowy, cold winters and warm, dry summers. Total area, 181 square miles, 468 square kilometers. Andorra was originally created as a buffer state by the French leader Charlemagne during the Middle Ages. It was meant to keep the Muslim Moors out of France. The Andorrans were to fight off the Moors and protect France. In return Charlemagne would grant them a charter. There were several of these buffer states created. Andorra is the last one of these states that is still an independent country. Andorra had a series of rulers starting with Charles the Bald, Charlemagne's grandson, in the 7th century. The state was handed off to various leaders, sometimes as a reward and sometimes through marriage. At one point there was a dispute as to whether France or Spain owned Andorra. They decided to share it. There are co-princes who rule the country, the Bishop of Gel from Spain and the French president. Although Andorra is a small, landlocked country, it still manages to do okay economically, mostly through tourism. It is also considered a tax haven for the rich. It uses the euro for its currency, or money, although it is not a member of the European Union. Andorra's capital city is Andorra La Vella and its elevation of 3,356 feet, 1,023 meters, makes it the highest capital city in Europe. In the 1960s and 70s Andorra La Vella was transformed from a rustic town into a busy commercial center catering to shoppers and tourists. The country is known for its history, interesting and isolated location, and high life expectancy. Andorra consists of a cluster of mountain valleys whose streams unite to form the Valera River. Andorra has traditionally had a strong affinity with the region of Catalonia in northern Spain. Most Andorrans are Roman Catholic, Andorra is part of the Diocese of Urgul. Almost nine-tenths of the population is classified as urban, and half of residents are foreign nationals, mainly from Spain, France, and Portugal. With only a tiny proportion of Andorra's land cultivable, the traditional economy centered on the pasturing of sheep and the harvesting of modest quantities of tobacco, rye, wheat, olives, grapes, and potatoes. Andorra has become an important international center of retail trade that has attracted millions of shoppers from all over Europe with its duty-free imported consumer goods, including alcoholic beverages, electronic devices, tobacco, and clothing. Tourism is another of Andorra's leading industries, and the area has excellent opportunities for winter sports. Although not a member of the European Union, Andorra has used the euro as its de facto primary currency since 2002. No railway system exists, but good roads link Andorra with France and Spain, and the principality is served by a small airport in Seo de Urgul, Spain. The national dish of Andorra is escudella, a stew which contains a lot of different meats such as sausages, chicken, veal, pig snout and deers and trotters. It's cooked in a broth of stock with pasta, vegetables and pulses. Potatoes might also be added. Bracta Hitano is a thin cake filled with apricot cream, rolled and then sliced. Andorans enjoy this rich dessert with tea or coffee. The country of Andorra can fit into the city of London more than three times. It's the only country in the world that has Catalan as its only official language. It's home to miles and miles of ski slopes. Only a third of people that live in Andorra are Andorran. Andorra is one of the few countries in the world with no airport. It can be reached only by land, via France or Spain. The people of Andorra live to a very old age. For males the life expectancy is around 80, while for females it is around 84. Thank you for watching, like, share and subscribe to Sidra's Lifestyle.